Today we're going to review part number 8-259-50UC1. This is the Dexter trailer hub assembly for 2200 pound axles. It has a 5 on 4.5 inch bolt pattern, the Galdex finish, and it fits 8 inch to 12 inch wheels. Now this galvanized marine grade trailer hub assembly will fit on standard axle. It includes everything shown here, the bearings, the bearing races which are already pre-installed, inner and outer on the hub the double lip grease seal, the grease cap, and the lug nuts. Now this trailer hub assembly has the Galdex zinc coating which will resist corrosion, makes it ideal for use on your boat or snowmobile trailer, and it's durable enough for saltwater applications. Now all of the Galdex hubs are able to withstand 500 hours of constant exposure to the saltwater mist. Basically this 500 hour salt spray rating will indicate that this product is not only durable enough to last in freshwater environments, but also in the saltwater environments. Now the application on this, it is designed to fit on the 2200 pound axles. The diameter of the hub flange, which is this part right here, <coughs> the diameter on this is going to measure right at five and a half inches in diameter, so that means this is designed to be used for with eight inch to 12 inch wheels. <coughs> now the bolt pattern on this is a five on four and a half inch bolt pattern. The wheel stud diameter is half an inch, and the weight capacity on one of these hubs is 1,250 pounds. So when used with one on the other side of the axle, it would be 2,500 pounds, which would be over the weight capacity of the axle itself, which would be 2,200 pounds. So you'd always want to use the lower weight rating as your maximum capacity. Now the bearings they use is actually the inner and outer is the same size and same part number. It's the part number L44649, which is stamped on the bearing. So for on the inner bearing, you'll see the race is already installed. You'll go ahead and grease this and then drop it into place onto the race. And you'll take your double lip grease seal and then tap it into place so it holds everything there. And then on the front, the outer bearing, you'll see the race is already installed. Take the bearing again, the same part number, L44649, you would grease it, drop it into place. Then this whole unit would slide over the spindle. The spindle would come through here, put your washer on, put your nut on, tighten it down to specs, and you'd be ready to go. Then you just take your grease cap and go ahead and top, tap it into place to cover it and keep the grease on the inside. <clears throat> also includes the five half-inch zinc-coated lug nuts that'd be used to hold your uh, wheel assembly, wheel and tire assembly to the hub. Once you go ahead and put that on there, then you just take your half inch lug nuts, go ahead and tighten them down to torque them to specifications, and then you'll be ready to go. Now one note I do want to mention that on some axles that are rated at 2200 pounds, they do require a different seal and bearing. So to be sure that the bearings in the hub you're replacing have the L, what you want to do is make sure that it has the L44649 stamped on them. That is what is used in this hub assembly. There are some 2200 pound axles that the bearings will have a stamping of L44643 and if they do then you do need to use a different trailer hub. But that should do it for the review on part number 8-259-50UC1, the Dexstar trailer hub assembly for 2200 pound axles with the five on four and a half inch bolt pattern.